how you approach the part is very important. The first thing that we need to consider is how the chips are being formed. In this episode, we'll discuss the golden rule in milling, thick to thin. If we reference the illustration, there are many things wrong in respect to good milling practice. We're climb milling on one side and conventional milling on the other. We're driving straight down the center of the part. The diameter of the cutter isn't being optimized. And as a result, we're generating thick chips on exit, which lead to edge failure and poor tool life. The cutter position forms the chip. You want a thick chip as you enter and a thin chip as you exit. In this animation, we're milling straight down the center of the workpiece and generating a thin to thick to thin chip. Not a good situation. When entering, the cutter is rubbing rather than shearing the material. This causes heat and vibration. To ensure proper cutting action, we simply reposition the cutter so that approximately 70% of the diameter is engaged. This ensures immediate cutting action. We're climb milling and we're generating a thick to thin chip, resulting in less stress on the insert. There is a wrong way to position the cutter. Notice the area is illustrated with the red explosions. We're now exiting with a thick chip, so the insert is under heavy load. And all of this leads to premature wear and possible insert breakage. In summary, remember the golden rule, thick to thin. The process should ensure the smallest chip thickness possible when exiting a cut. Proper cutting action and chip formation saves you time, money and ensures a stable process. For more smart tips, contact one of our specialists or visit us at the Sanvik Cormont website.